My name's Adam Adolphus. Uh, I rep self-explanatory crew out of Chicago. Uh, I'm from Long Island, New York. Uh, I've lived in various places in the country, and now I live in LA. It all started at the same time. I started going to raves when I was 16, and I started taking pictures when I was 16. And it was just because um, I was actually messing up a bunch in school from partying too much, so they sent me to a trade school. So I remember talking to my brother like, yo, I gotta, I gotta figure out something to do so I can get an easy grade, you know? And he was like, yo, do photography, that's mad easy. And I was like, all right, cool. So I, I, I switched, you know, majors and went to the photography course and then just kind of accidentally fell in love with it. So, you know, from that point, age like 16 up to, I don't know, maybe 21, 22, I was heavily into photography. Me and my friends had a dark room in our basement and uh, we shot all the time. We had a little photo studio when we would lift the backdrop up and we had a dance floor. And so it was kind of the best of both worlds. You know, it's funny, at some point I wanted to start recording myself dancing, making like video clips, because that's what everybody was doing. And so that was when I got a new camera. I got like a digital videotape camera and uh, it took really good still shots as well. And when I realized I sucked at video editing and that that was really hard to learn, I just started using this video camera as a, as a digital photography camera, you know? And so I was like kind of back at it again. And, um, and I just started using that. And then at some point I was like, why am I using this piece of shit? And then I just sold it and got like a real digital photography camera. But, but it wasn't like photography took over. I'm 38 years old and like, you know, I don't plan on breaking forever, you know? And so it's like, I don't, I'm not gonna make any money breaking, you know? And I never wanted to make money breaking because it was truly one of my passions and I just never wanted to sell that part of my soul out, you know? Like photography, on the other hand, as much as it's my passion, I have no problem selling it, you know? And it's easier because I love doing it, you know? So it's like, it's one of those things where if you love what you're doing, you never have to work a day in your life. So it's dope, like, uh, you know, and then I feel like I have a, a, a valid opinion when it comes to breaking, so I love photographing it because I feel like, you know, my documentation of it is going to be more accurate than someone who doesn't break, you know? or someone who doesn't know what we're doing, or someone who doesn't speak the language. And it's like, I know what we're doing, I speak the language, I practiced it for 20 years, and I'll always be practicing in my mind at the very least. So, um, you know, like me documenting it, I think gives the culture a lot of justice. So for me, I like to capture within the breaking culture, the aesthetic of hip hop, or the aesthetic of b-boying. You know, like, um, if, you know, what's gonna make me a better photographer than John Doe, you know, is, um, you know, he doesn't know what to look for. You know, he can take 14 pictures in a second, but does he know which one to pick out? Does he know what this art form should look like? You know, and, um, and of course I have an extremely biased opinion because it's my opinion, you know? And, um, and so that's what I'm portraying through my art. It's my biased opinion of what the aesthetic of breaking is, you know, and what it should look like, you know? So when I post a photo of someone doing a freeze, to me, usually I'll post a photo of someone doing a freeze that I believe is the look of b-boying. I want to preserve the culture the way I believe it should be preserved, so that's, you know, I'm just, I think at the end of the day when you see my photography, you're just seeing my opinion. For the dance itself, uh, I think exploring everything else in the world is only going to benefit your art, you know. All of that helps me as a b-boy to express myself, you know, because I actually have something to express. The more life experience you have, the better of a dancer, artist, whatever, you know, obviously you'll be, you know, and it's like, you, you know, you won't be a boring person. <laughs> you know?